Chessington World of Adventures Resort is a family theme park, resort and zoo located near London in the UK. The park is host to many family attractions including Vampire, Croc Drop and Dragon's Fury. The park opened Dragon's Fury in March 2004 and since then we have not seen a single new coaster at the park. Whilst the park has installed various other attractions, it's great to finally see a brand new coaster is being constructed. This is Theme Park Realm News and today we're taking a look at codename Project Amazon. Project Amazon will see the installation of a brand new area within Chessington World of Adventures, comprising of a new roller coaster and two smaller flat rides. This development is one of the biggest we have seen at the park for many years. Official news of the project broke in May 2021 with the park carrying out a series of public consultations for locals. The plans outlined that the park would be looking to construct a brand new themed area. Planning was officially filed in July 2021 and the plans for the new area were approved on the 28th of January 2022. The new area is also set to feature a new photo sales unit, retail unit, station building and maintenance building. The full plans can be found on the Kingston upon Thames council planning website so I'd recommend checking it out. From what we understand this new area marks the start of a series of investments into the park over the next few years which I'm sure is welcome news for both Chessington fans and pass holders. So what we know so far is that the area's main attraction is set to be a small family shuttle coaster. Now the park has not been forthcoming around who the manufacturer of the new ride will be. In recent weeks the construction progress on the coaster has accelerated and it's very likely that we will start to see track being delivered within the next few weeks. A recent image taken at the park also reveals and confirms that this is in fact a B&M roller coaster. It seems an engineer had left some ride plans in clear visibility, an enthusiast was then able to grab a photo of these plans which clearly show the words Bolliger and Mabillard in the bottom corner. From the plans we've seen so far, this certainly appears to be some sort of wing coaster and the station track appears to sit just above the station floor. The operator cabin also sits directly above the coaster track in the station, very similar to other B&M wing coasters such as the Swarm at Thorpe Park, further supporting the theory that this ride is a B&M wing coaster. However, what is unusual about this ride is that there is an inspection pit beneath the station itself. This has definitely got some people wondering whether this ride could feature newer generation wing trains. This coaster would certainly appear to be some form of new ride type for the company. B&M have not previously installed wing coasters which feature a shuttle design or any kind of shuttle coaster as far as we're aware. Usually B&M wing coasters do not require inspection pits beneath the station due to where the track sits above the floor. In this case the track does still sit above the station floor. However, as this is a shuttle coaster, it is possible that there could be a drop floor in the station, which could explain why they require such a large inspection pit. This would keep the floor away from guests' feet while the coaster is in operation. The plans do also mention a launch and control room, sparking rumours that the ride will feature a magnetic ILM or LSM launch system. The plans for the track layout do also support this theory. We do have to remember this is a family ride and so any launch is not likely to be particularly powerful. However, it will definitely lead to a much smoother ride experience than what you might get with either a chain lift hill or a wheel driven launch. The inside of the maintenance building features the launch and ride control room, break room, AV room, switch gear room, capacitor room and workshop. Capacitors are likely being used on the ride due to its launch system. The energy can then be accumulated over a longer period, preventing the coaster from causing power issues for other areas of the theme park. Given that the coaster is set to feature this type of system, it could also be that the inspection channel within the station is for the servicing of these parts and the associated cabling. The coaster itself will feature a large helix spike section which is designed to wrap around a large theming structure towards the end of the ride. The ride also features a barrel roll which is designed to sit directly above the entrance of the new area. As far as we can see the ride will begin with a backwards launch up the ride's first peak. The ride will then fall forwards and complete a straight launch through the station. There is of course potential for this ride to cycle more than once depending upon how the park choose to run the coaster. The coaster will reach the spiked helix towards the end of the track before we assume returning backwards towards the station. Again the trains could be flipped either way so until they are physically on the track and the ride is running we can't be sure of which direction the trains will launch. As discussed the plan for the new area also includes two brand new flat rides. 
From looking at the plans, it seems the area will feature a Miami Crazy Bus style ride. This is very similar to Jungle Bus, an existing ride at the park. Now Jungle Bus is currently closed, and it would appear the park will either be refurbishing the original or totally replacing it within Project Amazon. It also appears that the new area will be host to some form of jump or bounce ride. However, it is difficult to tell from the plans as only the envelope of the ride is actually shown. It's anticipated that the new area will be highly themed and the plans state that there will be a maze style path system in the centre of the new area. The maze would actually appear to be a replica of the maze featured on the Jumanji puzzle from the film series. Of course, the entire area is set to follow a similar jungle style theme, which is sure to fit in well given the existing areas within the theme park. The plans note that there will also be several smaller theming objects within the centre of the area. However, only the envelopes for these are shown on the plans, so we're unable to confirm the exact nature of the theming. Now, fans of the park believe that the whole area could be themed around the Jumanji film series. It is also rumoured that Merlin are planning an almost identical theme for an area within another one of their European theme parks. Merlin do have a history of working with IPs of popular films and TV series, therefore these rumours are certainly plausible. Construction of the new area is progressing at a rapid pace. Groundwork began some time ago, the footers are already going in for the new rides including the new coaster and the large theming structure is also taking shape. They have also installed what would appear to be the frame for the entrance sign of the area and there is also work now on the station building as well. So this is certainly an exciting time for fans of the park and the new area is currently due to open between March and May 2023. However, we're still awaiting official confirmation from the park at this stage. I certainly cannot wait to see how this area turns out. There is a fantastic fan-made website covering all of the latest Project Amazon construction works. So please visit the link in the description if you'd like to take a closer look at this. I definitely recommend checking it out. As always, if you did enjoy today's video, please don't forget to subscribe. We will also be keeping a close eye on this project over the coming months. Construction is definitely picking up pace now, and it's only a matter of time before we start to see the track for the new coaster go into place, and also the flat rides as well. Let me know your thoughts on the new rides and the new area overall in the comments section down below, and as always, thank you very much for watching.